This is gonna be chock full of really interesting reptiles today that you normally don't get to see under one roof outside of the zoo. I am freaking out right now. They're not fully aquatic like the humans. I got a little confused. It happens, guys. I'm not perfect. Yeah. Look at this. These are Darth Maul babies. Look at the eyes. You produced them. Wow, that's so cool. These are just baby galops. Oh, yeah, you're tough. Oh, you're tough. Uh, you get distracted incredibly fast. Like Look it. at this. Holy helioderma. That is one hell of a morph. This might be one of the greatest episodes we've ever done. Look at this. Unbelievable. I'm here with my buddy John Heidecker, and you are holding... Crocodilus Johnson I, the freshwater crocodile. This is so cool to see here in the United States. I'm gonna go ahead and just get some hours okay. in on my class one here with you. Okay. Already got a class two with my croc uh, with my alligators and caiman, but having hands on uh, a juvenile uh, Johnston eye or freshwater crocodile. John, this is awesome, dude. It's it's one of my favorite crocs. It's, it it it's... certainly is. Get, check this out, Matt. Look at the shape of that snout right there. That shows you what this is a specialist of. This guy wants to eat fish. Uh, he's got that really slender snout and he'll just wiggle it back and forth in the water, catch himself a fish. Uh, and you know, we were talking earlier, the uh, Cuban crocodiles, they gallop, but you were saying these yep. guys gallop as well. They gallop too. The only, the only two that gallop are the freshies and the Cubans. That is so sick, man. These are crazy because to me, um, I mean that the the jaws disproportionately long with with the, and those teeth. You yeah. Know? So it's compact, but just a, a lot of long teeth in there for it, shredding. Got this, those slimy fish. That's right, man. We're hanging out here with Isaac also, who is uh, one of the keepers here. Uh, helps John out. And uh, my gosh, man, that is so cool. This this is amazing to me. Um, I've been in Australia. I've seen these guys um, out there. Uh, basically, they're in all the freshwater habitats in northern Australia, uh, from you know the western side of northern uh, Australia all the way into Queensland, but mostly in the interior, in areas where saltwater crocs generally aren't necessarily because obviously these guys don't get as big and aggressive as a salty, and uh, they get snatched up. Full size male, about ten foot. So we're not talking about giant crocodiles, right. but still large enough to hurt a human being. Uh, but the good news is they're shy. Yeah. Awesome. And very, uh, very populous in Australia too. So yeah. they're not, they're as not endangered. actually endangered as the uh, other. I'm gonna let this one go. Yeah. I, I like. I always. Well, you know what? We'll do it in the water. He's gonna wiggle, and sometimes they can flick back and whip oh, yeah. you. So you gotta be uh, pretty careful with them. That's awesome, man. What a surprise! And you guys are gonna love this because we're gonna go on a bit of a tour. And we, you know, John's a guy after my own heart. As is. Uh, the, uh, what's the what's the name of your Instagram? Get a shout out from my man Isaac here. Swamp Tarzan. There you go. Check out the Swamp Tarzan, all right? Uh, this guy is a kid after my own heart. He has a lot of hair, which I was a hair farmer a long time ago, but he's always out there in the uh, swamps and stuff. So you may want to check out his Instagram. We're going to give you guys a cool tour of some place that you, know, you don't normally see. It's a private collection, but John is a good buddy of mine. We met years ago at the Turtle and Tortoise Preservation Group, and uh, that's why it's so cool to go to those functions because you meet like-minded people uh, and it expands your uh, knowledge because we borrow and steal from each other and trade information. Uh, he is also one of the three J's in the three J's tortoise sanctuary. You've met Jason on the channel before. Now you get to meet one of the men behind it. Uh, you keep some glops up here, albeit a little bit smaller. Yes, sir. That's right. Yeah. We'll, we'll start, yeah. start going. There's a couple more freshies. Oh, we got some more freshies here. Uh, I love what you've done with the waterland, these lids. Uh, this is really well done. And, you know, it's, there they are, they're right there. Check it out, can you guys see? So these are a little bit larger juveniles. They're blended in really well. So these guys, we're not gonna pull out because they're a little bit more spindly. And that's what he says. I know we don't wanna get bit today, but um, he's a croc lover, a tortoise and turtle lover, and you might even see uh, some helioderma on this tour. This is gonna be chock full of really interesting reptiles today that you normally don't get to see under one roof outside of the zoo. What do you got? Here's an American crocodile. Oh, you got a cootis here. Yep. Wow, okay, awesome, man. 
Uh, the, the, you know, the fact that you have these species, you're licensed for them, um, it's testament to how well you take care of everything because they're not giving permits away for no reason. You gotta know what you're doing. And you have to also be respected within that community, uh, the zoo community, which he definitely is. Look at that little one. Again, just look at, you can see the difference between the Johnston eye snout and then uh, still a slender snout because it is a crocodile. But this guy is a little bit more of uh, a generalist when it comes to eating when they get full grown. They're gonna eat turtles, they're gonna eat fish, they're gonna eat small mammals, they're gonna eat uh, basically anything they can overpower. So that jaw shape is kind of almost like the Swiss Army knife. Uh, it's designed to take larger and smaller prey. So it's pretty cool. The fact that um, this one here is probably less than a year old. I guess. That's so cool, John. Dude, I love you. Oh, look at this. Guys, I'm so psyched. Now, when I was doing work with Bush Wildlife Sanctuary, uh, we were able to get hands on these as well. Um, just a beautiful little uh, crocodile. And it is the only endemic crocodile species in Florida. So there's only two species of crocodilian, the American alligator and the American crocodile. And South Florida is the northernmost range for this species. Uh, in fact though, historically, and now in recent times, they're actually starting to find these guys, they're making a comeback. Um, they found them almost as far north as Tampa on, oh, wow. on the, the wow. west coast of Florida and Vero Beach on the east coast of Florida. So it's interesting. Now, whether or not they can sustain that range uh, will, will remain to be seen because these guys are a little bit more cold uh, sensitive um, than the American alligator, but still so cool. Awesome. You know, it's Hello. amazing. Yeah, I'm sure you do. I feel uh, fortunate. Uh, yeah, you are, dude. This is really, really something, you know, so we're going to go and let this little dude go. Look at that, nice and gentle, right yeah. in the water. Beautiful use of these waterland tubs. Shout out to my buddy Pete Jansen uh, out there in California makes these tubs. When you can make these lids, it just makes all the difference. I mean, these are well done, mate. I stole really? the I, I stole the blueprint from the alligator farm. There you go. St. Awesome Augustine guys. giving people ideas, and that's what we do, man. We just borrow from each other, and I give to you because I want you guys to get this done. If you have any outdoor enclosures, you can use these for turtles. You build a lid like this, no predators are going to be able to get in and mess with your animals, which is key, especially when you're dealing with endangered animals. Not necessarily the jumps, the knives, the freshies, but that is definitely an endangered animal, so you want them to be safe. Although I don't think there's very many raccoons in this uh, building at the moment. So, pretty cool. Which way are we going so, next? Want to go this way? I do. Some... Let's check it out. Come on, guys. Uh, this, this is so random. Look at this. He, you know, we're, we're at an undisclosed location where he works, but he can't be away from his animals. So, he actually has... Oh, my God. Look at that radiata. Look at her. Can I... Oh, Absolutely. Oh, thank so you so much. I, I got to say something because yes, go ahead. It, it's important in the scheme of things. All right. Um, so I've been hatching radiata since 2006 every year, a lot of them. And, you know, I used to be busy. I mean, I'm always busy, but when, when they weren't under my nose in here, I would throw the food and I may not see them again until the next time I'm throwing food. Well, when I brought them into the office, once I got all the debt paid off and different things. I had to borrow and jump through hoops. Once I got all that resolved, I said to myself, you know, I'm gonna bring them in the office. I'm gonna hold back a few. I fell in love with the species all over again because they're under my nose oh, and I'm in the office dude. throughout the day. Wait a minute. Yeah, there's some, what? There's some special ones. Yeah, the, wait, this is the radiata. Rats. Yep. This, no, this is insane. Dude, I've never seen radiata this beautiful. I am freaking out right now. Look at this, the white, high white on these guys. Are you kidding me? Look this at was that. this was sire. These were sired by um, a male that 443 produced. That we oh had. my god. Yeah, you you've got amazing. yourself a science project here. Yeah. This is insane. Well, Look, guys, have you ever seen radiated tortoise that high white? Or yellow, rather, high yellow. I'm colorblind, don't forget. I mean, some look white to me, some yeah. look yellow. I mean, that's gorgeous. Look up here, guys. Just stop. Come up here, look at this. It's Now I know why you keep such a close eye on yeah. them. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. Oh my God. Yeah, that's gorgeous. These guys are gorgeous. Dude, I almost, honestly, I almost misidentified the, the tortoise. I thought it was like a star tortoise or something. I mean, it, that's how- You don't see them like that. What's that? You don't see them like that. I know, I that's just so bizarre. An aberrant one that almost looks like a spider tortoise because it's missing really? 
the color in the Who, where is areola it? of the skew. Okay, let's see this. It's He's going to get through. Yeah. Go ahead, you get I'm through. I'm sorry, the office is a little tight. No, I don't think, you but, guys don't care, do you? What's this? That's a Yucatan box turtle. Oh my, by look at this. Infamous Wayne Hill. Oh, it looks a little, is it an albino? No, they're just like that. That's they're how they look? At least they have yellow. yellow. Yeah. What? Yeah. A Yucatan, this is actually, guys, an aquatic box turtle. It's a terrapine, but it is pretty much fully aquatic. This is a, well, this guy will- Well, that's the, that's the, that's the Coelan. Oh, Coelan, the, yeah, the Yucatan, yeah. I'm sorry, wrong the guy. Coelan, thanks for correcting me. Uh, it happens. You're just giving this guy a soak. What is yeah. that? What this, is that? This is another Yucatan, but this is oh, okay. captive oh. born. No way. Well, these guys don't live far from water, but they're not fully aquatic like the Coheelans. I got a little confused. It happens, guys. I'm not perfect, but we just keep rolling. That is awesome. So that's another subspecies of, believe it or not, the Eastern Box Turtle. Right. Can you guys believe that? So there are quite a few. There's the Three Toe, the Gulf Coast, the the uh, Ludiola, which is the desert. Hold on, what is that? So this Hold is on, an... wait, you gotta wait until my brain, <laughs> re my brain, it's I'm freaking ready. out. Okay? It's supposed We're to be up here for five years, years now, so I'm excited to I know, I know. I, it's we, been, I've it's been, been promising to come up for five years. I did myself and you a disservice, friends, from not being here. Beautiful Yucatan box turtle. I'm gonna put that turtle back in here, shut this, and now I'm gonna geek out on what I believe is a radiated tortoise that should not look like that. No, it shouldn't. And what? it's just, it's missing the color in the midpoint of the skew. Right, and right in the middle. it's just, when That's, you look at it, it does it look just, like a spider. It looks like a spider. Holy smokes. And man. it's just dazzling to the eye. That is amazing. And that's what jo John just loves. These really, uh, you know, magically morphed <laughs> animals. I don't know how else to describe it. They're just really bizarre. Isn't that beautiful? Have you guys ever seen anything like that? Let me know in the comments below what you guys think of the animals you're seeing so far. This is just bizarre. This is what is this? Special one. Yeah, that's amazing. So, and just to compare, you see the the areola of the skew, basically in the middle. All of them have color. That's the only one, and I've oh. seen a lot of baby radiata. I probably yeah. produced. Flip it to the back. They look like a little, like that little sunburst. So, you know, it's like a dark sun, and then yeah, it just within there. Yeah, that's really cool. I, I, I've never even noticed that. Yeah, that's that's, really that's cool. interesting. Yeah. That's so cool. they're all they're all like a where does this guy live madagascar no no i know that he lives in, he lives he somewhere lives in north florida okay oh, yeah. that's what i meant right there he lives here he lives in my, in my office holy smokes man yeah this is i mean Actually. we could stop the video right now and it would be an awesome video because we've seen some amazing animals but you know what more is more and we're going to give you more. Let's see what else oh. we got in here. Oh, oh, wait. oh, oh look at this. How about a three-year-old Coora galbinifrom? Galbinifrom, flowerback box turtle. These guys are from Asia. Uh, who discovered these? Was it, was it, um, who found these? Holy uh, smokes. I'm not quite it, it sure. It wasn't uh, McCord, was it? No, he found a lot of other ones, yeah. but not. I Bill McCord. These. Look at that. There's the flower. Pink shoes in it. Like, yeah, this is, just, you guys know that I have the flower. The Look at that black blast on. That's really neat. That's really, really cool. But then you... That's what differentiates those. Yeah. the Galbinifrons from the Beretti and, and the Picturata. Is, is the is black the plaster. plaster. Yeah. So this is how you know it's Galbinifrons. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. So guys, this is uh, an animal highly endangered in its native range of Asia. And, um, you know, all the Quora... Uh, of which I have two. I've got the Malaysian box turtle and I've got the yellow marginated or flavor marginata uh, box turtle. Um, but this is another level, dude. And that's what John's all about. John likes to go, you know, John. I, I like doing do. projects with different people. So okay. I, I, I spread things around so I don't. And I'm going to give him a pop right now, a good one. When you're a good dude, people want to work with you. Uh, when you're man of words, so on and so forth. And that's what this guy is top class act. Uh, so you were able to build these relationships um, with zoological institutions, with different keepers, uh, and you can see how he takes care of everything. This is just the nursery, okay? We haven't even gone outside yet. Right. Are we gonna go? Yep. Can we go? go? Let's, Let's go. go. All right, here we go. Here they are. These are the sires of the babies we saw? Some of them. Some of them. Yeah, not all. Uh, so here's some are. trays with the four bloodlines. We've got 2.2. Awesome. But that red dot is the famous 443. That's 443. Yeah. She, oh, she's man. the matriarch of the high yellows, and oh, her, her offspring have produced high yellows. 
Incredible. And right she now, it's... herself is, you know, average. I mean, she's a beautiful animal, and they all, all Yeah, really exactly. Beautiful. I agree. But it's, it's any any combination. You can have two dark ones produce a high yellow, so cool. two high yellows produce a dark one. You just so never weird. know. That's, yeah. ha that's half the fun. Variability, the surprise. So, right. awesome, man. So Check out the high yellows. Oh, look at this. Yeah, that's beautiful. That is a that's sun. A, that, that's a 443 sun. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, that's a nice adult. Look at that, guys. That's gorgeous. That's I why. I that one up since a baby. Really? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And it really just kicked in breeding this year. Amazing. Now, every night, since we're up kind of far north, do you bring these in, or are these okay out tonight? Well, tonight they will be, okay. but, but I just brought them out yesterday. Right. So, I, and I'll, I'll, you'll see the habitats where they were in, okay. in the shed. Now, we're going something near and dear to you, and uh, one of the things that started our friendship. Okay. I think you I know. produce... Darth Maul. Four, yeah, Darth Maul produced the four animals in this enclosure. Okay, let's check this out. I have not seen some Darth Maul babies four or five years on, I guess. I thought I saw maybe. Maybe longer, Ken. Look at this. These are, come on, man. These are Darth Maul babies. Look yeah. at the eyes. Look, that might be longer, yeah. These, these were at my house as little tiny babies. These are Darth Maul's kids. They're literally mall kids. Yes, mall kids. <laughs> They're mall kids. This one's outrageous. Look at that. Look at the eyes, guys. This is what you're getting when you purchase a Darth Maul. Holy smokes, you grow but, them up and you just got this beautiful tortoise. But if you recall, yeah, these are also 100% het for hypomelanism. That's right. Because we you that sent us. Together. That's right. You sent me yes. Fire Chief. That's right. Oh, my God. Well, Fire Chief was the marbled one. That what? was almost all blonde. That, that was a straight yellow hypo male. Okay. That was with Darth Maul for a couple years. Oh my gosh. And I want to say these were 2016 produced by you. And we split we split the babies. And yep. I kept the four that I got. Oh my god. And this is the largest. They're all female. Oh, that's good news. So, wow. but they're all 100% head. Holy smokes. I can't tell you how many times people try to pry these off of me. Yeah, don't the, do particular it. Particular this one. Oh yeah. my god. Well, no, that, that would be horrible yeah. if somebody took one of these animals and uh, that you know that just would not be a good thing There's to do. Four of them. Yeah. <laughs> god, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. Awesome. Yeah, look at that. I just, you know, my favorite, uh, you know, my favorite trait they have are those those eyes. Yeah. You know, I think they got these really cool eyes with that a little bit of that orange in there. And uh, look at how beautiful their shells are. I mean, you, hey, you know what you're doing. I grew them slow. Uh, they yeah. were out eating weeds. They they were That's exposed it. to some cold temps up here, yep. and they're they're rock solid. Yeah, these are good. These and are hardy animals, man. You produced them. Wow, that's so cool. I'm glad you, you I'm glad you got I to come up and see them. How not? That is really, really cool, man. It is. Here's one more. Oh, uh, let's see that last one. All in that tussock of grass. Yeah. yeah, and it's it's interesting also the variability. Well, I like that they, they've got these interesting black marks, you know. They're they were these, they they're cherry heads, but they're not giving us because they're the hybrids right. between that hypomelanistic, right. they've got this really cool seam here and not the black that you'll see in most cherry heads so that's interesting but that's have cool. the color characteristics exactly the and they're head. keeping cherry head colors on the legs yes and the head because right. usually by this size there would be there'd be a yellow head yes, in, a, in a proper um in a proper red foot so these are your own line these are something totally unique and new <laughs> and uh, you know i, I can't that's wait cool. to see what they'll produce <laughs> It, it, I wish I had a brother or, dude, you know. Yeah. Well, all right. <laughs> I, I hear what you're you saying. Have go, you have to go through the herd. Yeah, but we that do. one back behind you, man, I mean, that's a specimen. I just... Yeah. Shit, that's so cool to see all these. girls. Yeah. I can't believe they're all female. Yeah, they're all female, so... I mean, I always think of you when I'm out here messing around. Thank you, guys. Buddy. I'm, I'm yeah, glad you got them. They're, they look happy. And I love them. And I can't wait to see what they come of it. I got some other ones. I got a lot of hypos, uh, not from Darth Maul. Let's go see. I love it. This is the. This is going to be a major. I mean, people are going to be stoked on seeing all these different tortoises. Got Mr. Magoo. Spectacle owl. Spectacle owl. Mr. Magoo. Yeah, random. Magoo. Random owl. All right, dude. There you go. <laughs> Holy smokes. What is this? Look at this. Oh my God, your place is awesome, dude. This is a treat, guys. Oh, so these are not big galops. These are just baby galops. Beautiful. Much, but they, they were <laughs> grown slow too. Uh, look at the shells, man. 
Let me oh. tell you, I, the credit goes to Dr. Peter Pritchard. He grew these up for Collect. Okay. And upon his passing, um, I, I you, took them the collection. from the zoo in terms of, you know, they're on loan, uh, rearing loan. That is they're, nice. I believe a brother or sister. So when they get big enough, we'll figure it out where the genetics, they are pure microfees. They are? Yeah. These are a pure island species of galak. Usually they're, usually they're kind of muddled um because it isn't it because years ago when they pulled these animals into the country they didn't keep records of the breedings right Correct. Yep. so they just said we have tortoises from the galapagos but they didn't take into consideration that each island has its own endemic species or subspecies of the galapagos tortoise so these are again the micro what micro feast micro feast what island is that from it's from uh, Isabella. It's okay. one of the four that are found on Isabella. So crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. Beautiful. Love the flaring of the shell in the back. Um, just gorgeous. I'm looking for her in the sun. Oh, just yeah. Taking wow. that last sunlight. These flares. Yep. Check it out, Matt. Got a few more over here. Beautiful home for them. This is a nice little shelter. Do they go in on their own? Mostly? They do. That's I've never perfect. Them that is awesome. When you get large tortoise look at this and they they're so when they see someone in their enclosure just like mine they run over to you hi they just run right over to you that is amazing amazing hi my friend yeah you know i know you want to eat but you've been mowing it's like a tortoise turf they've kept it mowed down nice they, huh they keep it mowed but yet it doesn't turn to dirt it's just big enough that's perfect and man. i just opened that area up and that's going to be the crop roll out Okay. That wall used to go all the way down to the end, so they only had. And they've got great posture, also. Yes. That's great. Look, you guys, again, look at the posture. His whole foot pad is on the uh, floor when he walks, so he's got the proper way to walk as a galop. So he's getting the right type of topography, and of course, he's got the right diet. So awesome. I mean, not that you need me to say it, they look great. That's amazing. Piece. Yeah, check it out, Matt. We've seen these before at Jason Abel's. So it gives them the ability to stretch up and, uh, you know, really oh, exercise. Oh, so they eat through, through the bottom. Yeah, they, oh, they eat through right here. And to be honest, we had a situation with one of our most productive breeders, uh, Lauderdale, who had an inner ear infection and she held her head to the side for so long until we figured out what was going on that the muscles atrophied. Oh, really? And it was because of this that she re-stretched her neck out and, and, it, and it brought it back. So Getting up and moving was definitely stretching out the, that neck muscle. Yep. All right, where are we going now? Go over here. this way. So over here we have dwarf crocs. Oh, no way. Now this so, is something that you and I may potentially down the road uh, do something with because absolutely. this is a species of croc that I'd be able to keep with my class two permit. Um, all right. As soon as I, produ I produced two years in a row, but then I went offline for three years and okay. got another female. So uh, there's going to be a female over here, not not over here now, uh, and a male and a female here. So we do the howdy introduction with the guillotine door, okay. so they get to know each other before we introduce them, you know, through the fence and stuff. Awesome. So so it's not just. And you've got them. well water running right now to keep them warm, right? Yes. Okay. Got so you. these guys love their habitat. They love it. Look at this! Oh my gosh! Look at this! And they come in on their own? They come and go as they please. That is, holy <laughs> Unless <laughs> Unless it was when it was 21 degrees, I, I dropped you the door dropped and forced them in here. And so they just stay in here. Guys, you're I looking at, uh, what is it? It's Crocodilus osteolamus? What is it? Or is it, um, no, osteolamus, no, it's yeah, a monotypic yeah, genus. Yeah, it's osteolamus. I don't have to say anything. That's the genus. And uh, these are, that's as big as they get, guys. This is as big as they get, much like my dwarf caiman. They fill that same ecological uh, role in Africa. Um, these guys found in Ivory Coast, East Africa, is it? Or West Africa, right? Well, there's two. There's Tetraspis, Tetraspis, and Tetrapsis osborni. Okay. And one of them's West West Africa, and the other Central, or Congo. Congo, okay. I don't know what these are. There's blood tests pending. I've had them with Dr. Vliet. Okay, For a few cool. years, he has to get a certain amount of spe uh, samples to run, run the test. So uh, oh. we'll see. But they've got such a, um, you know, that that appearance is so almost like a bulldog. You know, they kind of got is. that face. You know, and they're constantly digging and burrowing and making caves underground. It's wow. crazy. Oh my gosh! So interesting behavior out of them. Man. Yes. Yeah. Another the forest species, though. You got to tell them about this. 
specific four feet into the ground that you had to go. Oh yeah, he went, yeah, I went four, four foot deep. Down. And even that, I, I lay awake at night and I worry if that's enough. I, Just he doesn't want him to get out. You've got to, it's always better to overbuild with these animals than find one wandering where they shouldn't belong. That's cool though. American, American alligator. Oh, I love gators. Check out this big pond, guys. There we go. They won't let anybody else in there, so. No way. Oh, he's a good size. He's a really good size. Yeah, he's a nice he's looking He's pushing animal. 12 feet. Oh. Yeah, he's. Oh, no, where are you going? Oh, see you later. Yeah, Holy he's smokes. Pushing 12 feet. Least resistance. <laughs> they move fast when they have to. This is beautiful. And I take it this pond was already here? It was. Yep. So the plans are if. if I'll probably get some more galops too. Okay. Decent sized ones, but also. As one does. <laughs> but I also want to do uh, croc row outs here. Cool. And it'll, use, it'll be easy to run the well and let it drain into the pond and drain and the pond drains out over there along the fence line and so goes out sick. the front of the park. Dude, this is an amazing uh, place to come visit. I can't believe it's taken me this long to get here. I love it, man. Just uh, glad you're here. Dude, the jewels, living jewels he's got here. And, and far as radiated and uh, I, I know you really don't promote yourself much. You don't do, you don't care. Don't have to, I mean. That's it. I just want to enjoy the animals. We do, we do some events here and there. Okay. Um, this is a stepping stone to do some other things down the down road, the road. And, and bring the animals along doing some sort of hospitality related venture. So. Very cool. Well, more to come. These animals certainly are hospitable as the, uh, our friend Tarzan, Isaac, is uh, trying to call one up for us. The female, I believe. See, anywhere else we think this guy was a cuckoo bird, but we kind of get it and he knows what he's doing too. How cool is that? All right, guys. I just want to say thanks to my friend John Heidecker. Nice to meet Isaac. Pleasure. Check these guys out online. What's that? Is there more? You want to see a shed? Yeah, I thought you were going to see some other stuff. Should the we go? The Heloderma. Heloderma. Let's go. We're not done yet. I was just faking you guys out. Why did I tell you? Super size. So we're going to go check out a venomous lizard. We've had a lot of super sized episodes lately. Come on, man. We're, we're working for you. Holy smokes, this is amazing. So a lot of this, um, you know, they're in here for the winter. They right. Come back outside. But All right, come here, guys. One of the Galbinifrons just woke up. From winter? From winter. And Holy is, smokes. She is a specimen. That is gorgeous. The flower back box turtle. Look at that face. Look at that face. Holy smokes. Is that beautiful, friends? That is incredible. I mean, you can see why these are sought after and why they have become almost uh, extinct in the wild. That's beautiful, man. Wow. I'm kind of speechless. I'll just shut up and let you guys enjoy this turtle. Look at her eyes. Yeah, that's pretty. So cool. She's got sharp claws. Yeah. Oh, amazing. I can't tell you how many times I watch your video when uh, you're up at TSA or the Oh yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The, the center, center, the, the, center. the turtle survival center. In fact, center. when we walk out, I'm going to show you. I'm basically setting up exactly how they have set up with that modeled uh, roofing okay. and, and then the, the cement blocks okay. individually kept. kept. I'm going to do it exactly like they they have it. I got the blocks out there. I got the. the That's uh, how you do it. What I tell you at the beginning of the video, we beg, borrow, and steal <laughs> and share. Awesome. I'll probably watch a video again tonight. That's cool, to man. Be I watch it yeah, that's some cool. So again, this is just because of winter. This shed fills a, a great purpose. But again, everything's beautiful. We've got all these uh, pre. Uh, you kind of fabricated your own filters. Yeah, it's great. Simple. I'm I'm simple, John, but it works for me. Simple, John. <laughs> that's pretty funny, dude. I don't think broads now. No way, little tiny broadies. Up yourself. Oh, yeah. Okay. I can I can because of the, oh. the filter. Oh, oh, copy that, copy yeah. that. Yeah. All right, so let's see. Don't you love it when your friend just says, help yourself, and you get to come in here? here. Oh, la, 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 la. oh, yeah, you're tough. Oh, you're tough. Oh, you come in. Hey, come here, Gary. Come here, come here. Oh, you're too fast for me. Oh, my God. There we go. Guys, baby broad snout came in. These are the Bizarro critters man they got that tiny little snout so what did we learn this week or rather in this video 
Being that this animal has this kind of snout, that means short and oh, and a powerful bite to crush hard shells. Oh. And uh, oh, listen, I love the little talking to me and everything. These guys will, will use this snout. They'll eat mollusks and freshwater, you know, snails and small turtles. So these are a really cool species, but they're very bizarre when they get bigger. They look so different. And um, I'm going to put this animal back because because uh, what happens here at John's at Simple John's place is uh, you get distracted incredibly fast. Like look it. at this. Go like look at this. that. Holy Helioderma. That is one hell of a morph. That is a gorgeous animal, man. A that cool. is a Gila, a Gila monster. Dude, that's a venomous lizard right there. I've seen these in the wild. You were with me. I think yes. we were at Bob Bloom's yes. house. Yes, we were. Many years ago, we were at Bob Bloom's in Arizona, and we saw one walking around his backyard. That right there is gorgeous. Now, the thing is, I never realized how variable their colors can be tough. really true. When you it, select, it, it's, it's, it's almost like a radiated tortoise. Yeah, that's something. Man. Well, one of the pink ones. Oh my gosh, this is really cool, bro. I so love it. This is venomous. It's a yeah. Oh, don't yeah. get too close. It it yeah. it's venomous. It can bite you. The good news is is that they're gonna, usually docile. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Usually docile, but and you're not gonna die from the venom. Gotcha. You're just gonna be in a bunch of pain. Yeah, <laughs> it'll hurt real, real bad. This oh. is sort of an aberrant one. It has almost like wristwatch bands, but little little color, little dark. So it's like opposite. Why? They're sought after when it comes to a reduction of pattern or color. But in this one, there's a lot of there's a lot of color in the toes, the eyeballs, yeah. the nostrils. I love the black on the front of the jaws there. Yep. That's really neat. Like a mask. Now, you guys remember a couple of years ago, we did a video with John Bruggen from the Alligator Farm at his private residence. He's really into the Helioderma. So we got to see a lot of cool animals with him. And now we get to follow up uh, with John, just seeing what he's doing here with these uh, incredible lizards, man. Really highly specialized venom. Uh, we know that a lot of lizards actually have a mild venom in their saliva because that's what venom is. It's a modified saliva. Uh, pretty interesting though to see it uh, on these guys. And now they don't really have the same delivery system as a as most really evolved snakes for venom. What they'll do is they'll just bite the saliva, mixes in with the wound, and you get sick. So the delivery system's a little bit, um, you know, primitive, but uh, works well for them. Yep. They've been around for a while. They're beautiful. And this cool little line right yeah. here. Yeah. You don't see that a lot. Yeah, that's a really, it's such a cool lizard, man. Just such a little bizarre dude. And the fact we, that they spend 75% of their lives underground. Underground, yeah. exactly, man. That's why you gotta follow his uh, Instagram account because he's not just about jumping around with animals. He's giving you guys good information and I'm behind anyone that wants to teach. So- Well, and, and you, you mentioned John Bergen, a dear yeah. friend of mine. Okay. He, I think he has the best Gila setup in the world. I mean, right. I don't know of any, any more, uh, you know, more elaborate, more right. thought it's really out cool. setup than he has. It's absolutely stunning. And, well, we got and you know what? And that's why he's so successful breeding them because he's breeding numbers with small quantity adults. He's okay. producing them. It's it's almost unheard of. Oh my God, that is almost and it's a stunner. That is almost pink. Is, it's pink, but it, it's super aberrant. No, it goes, it goes in. Bizarre. Sure. Yeah, I want to get that guy because You'll, you'll notice that the banding isn't... Um, You're gonna pick this one up? Yeah. Okay, go for I it. I just wanna pinch them a little just because when they're that small... small it's hard to just grab. Yeah. You Smart. Put this one. Yes. That line, look oh, how yeah, aberrant yeah. that is. That is it's really it's cool. missing. It's missing a link. It has a line going down the back like that. Oh, that's neat. It has oh. bands that are super faded, reduced, solid, symmetrical. You know, little things like that I'm, I just get obsessed with looking at you know the aberrations of them where the color is i like what he's doing with his tail now i got to mention about his tail look at that so there we uh, go i don't even know he's doing that yeah he's, he's close that's how they'll get you yeah. yeah yeah so i was going to talk about their tail they, these are desert animals they store a lot of moisture and fat in their tails mm -hmm. uh as long as you pinch the head you're good look at that. can't get you that's good look at this guy that is amazing man we are hanging out with the Gila monster here, right in his gaping maw. And that's, you know, look, 
He'd nail me if he could because he's a little dude. He's a little scared. In the wild, they might open that mouth, just kind of scare you with it. But generally, guess what? You leave them alone. They want nothing to do with you. They spend most of their time on the ground. Thank you, Isaac. And they're nocturnal, as most desert animals are. But uh, still beautiful, cool species. I love them. Yeah, that's awesome. It's um, really a treat, man. All right, let's see. What's that? What do you want to I was going to say, behind Matt, there is a male picturata, another flowerback species. Oh, wow. Um, look at this. A friend of mine produced that. You're welcome. Thank you. Everywhere you turn, yeah. there's a... Just we, a, we a, thought we were done 10 yeah, minutes ago. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can you believe this? This might be one of the greatest episodes we've ever done. Uh, how cool, man. Pretty. Uh, yeah, really neat. And last but not least, oh, uh, see four... You Separate bloodlines of Giamida japonica. Japonica? Yeah, no, no you, way. You get me excited when I watch your video with Charlie. Charlie Moorcroft. Yeah. Shout out. What's I up, mean, Charlie? He's outrageous male, or yeah. rather red red specimen. So we got a couple oh. reds on the, on, on the left side. They've got two reds on the, on the left and two regulars on the right. These guys are really cool. Big eyes. These guys will run around and grab worms. They're kind of a... Um, they're a terrestrial animal. They love to soak in puddles, but they are a forest turtle. Uh, very agile, believe it or not, and fast for a turtle because they grab worms and insects. So very, very cool. I love it. I love how you have everything. It's so clean and everything's just, it's functional when they're small. This is an easy way to care for them. He's got a large collection, so he wants to make things nice and easy. And you've done that. And I want to track bloodlines too. Like okay. the, 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 those habitats are, the breeder gave me the egg they came in, all the oh, stats, wow. the birth date, what pairings did what. So they're all four from Science Project. Unrelated. Yeah. It's, I get a little crazy with that stuff. Uh, but that's awesome. Look at these incubators, by the way. Nerd out on that. Jason Abel's got me into the Redwood incubators. How cool is that? And uh, I just started collecting them. At some point, I'm going to convert them, but. I just love them. It's a gorgeous piece of furniture. Yeah, it's pretty. And yeah. Jason, Jason got me into the Peter signs. All right. Well, hey, you know what? I think we're done. Are we? Done? Are we? Now we got a little side. You oh want to see God. some Valdabras? Because of your we're gonna need another battery. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> because of your Nostradamus. I thought we were done. I got in this. I got some Valdabras from Sam. Of course you did. Because Could've. of your Nostradamus. Did yeah. you get to see the only good look owl in the southeastern United States? That's so cool, man. This is great. What a treat. Uh, we do inspire each other. Because yeah, I'll it's tell you, fun. I, I, I was watching your videos at Sam's a few times, and I woke up one day needing an Aldabra tortoise. And instead of just one, <laughs> Sam happens to be four. A, Jesus. And, well, and it's because of Nostradamus, too. That's that, awesome. That shell is perfect. He's perfect. So I, I went through 80 animals, just you know, messing around. And, so that's why are, Sam there, loves me so much. There's two Galops and uh, four there, Aldabras. There's a little Aldabra. Look at this, guys. All this little clover. Oh, I love baby Aldabras now. Yes. Yeah. Come on. Yes, Look at that. It's Look at that little. Oh, did we wake you up? So sorry. How cute. Uh, one day this will be a 500 pound tortoise. And there's the other one. Thank you so much, Isaac. Look at this. Be beautiful, beautiful little dudes. I remember when Nostradamus was this small. No Back, way. Yeah, Nostradamus started out like this. When I got him, he was just a little bit smaller than this size. And we've been together 19 years, he and I. And I love him. Yeah, I love him to death. I just got my first Galapagos. Oh, today. congratulations, so bro. He'll be with you the rest of your life, exactly. and then your kids will have it. Exactly. Sweet. Holy smokes, man. Good old high decker. Look at that. They're, they're, they're kind of clawed. Doop, 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 doop. Clunk right into the wall. You know, they're just kind of looney ticks. You gotta see Check this out. out. Oh wait, what are we doing? Oh, oh. full size boo book owl. Boo book? Yeah, they're from Australia. And no way. This is the actually the only one in the southeastern United States. That's the only that's one full in the size. southeastern United States. Full size. Wow, little dinosaur you got here. No Bush way. Carabala. Good old Lou. Awesome. Look at this. Glop and another Aldabra. There's a little Aldabra. Oh my gosh. Look at that. And look at that galop shell, man. Yeah. Holy smokes, it's gorgeous, dude. Wild. Alligator farm. Started these guys out, grew them for three or four years. When COVID hit, I helped them out with, with the surplus situation. And beautiful. man, so all the credit goes to them. That's beautiful. Who makes these cages? 
it's called Animal House, but they went out of business. Oh, they were out in Oregon. Yeah, that's a nice that's a nice cave. I used to have four bell phase uh, laces in here. I got out of them and tortoises are in here now. Oh, so. smokes, dude. This is awesome, man. I got uh, some of the head hypos and hypos in here. Oh. What'd you forget? <laughs> we gotta go to one more stop. Jeez, let's go. All Twist right. my arm. Holy smokes. <laughs> this this I'm five hours from my house by the way. I don't care. I'm excited that you're here. I'm excited too. Thank you I so much. I forget what I have. I forget what you know. It's I over. It's just, dude, this is so cool. This is so cool. Gray box right there. Into this gray box, this zoom ed box. Alright. Uh, what is this? Yeah, four different hypos in here. What? The paradox. The strange looking stuff. What the heck? Look at this lime one. No way. Guys, what are we looking at here? I'm colorblind and I can see that there ain't no color in here. This is beautiful. These are the hypos. So, yeah, Darth Maul was paired with, with one that looked exactly like that. So, yeah, did you hear that? Darth Maul was paired with one like this as an adult. And uh, we'll see what, uh, you know, how they grow up their hats. Mm -hmm. So, well, it's a long-term project when you're dealing with tortoises, aren't you? It is. Look at these. This right? is neat because it, cool. it looks like someone got a Sharpie and just thought, start drawing on that. It's just a, a paradox. It's so crazy. It's a full hypo that has some of the, like, like, pied, if you will, I guess. Look at this, too. Look at these colors. This is so bizarre. These are siblings, but just how different. Yeah. You know? And no one knows exactly why, in, in a hypo setting, why that color came in, but the others didn't come in like like a normal cherry head. Guys, you realize a normal cherry head would be black. Black shell with maybe some marbling and so on, but this is berserk. But look at the face, look at the heads. The, the skin has coloration. Yeah. That's so amazing. It really is. Yeah, that's, that's something. That is unique. Holy smokes. I don't think I forgot about anything else. Wait, right no, now. are we really done? I think so. It's the video that won't end. And I don't think we want it to. Other than the fact that we have a five hour, five -hour drive trip home. home. But um, hey, listen, thank you, Isaac. Yes, sir. Thank you, John. Yes, sir. It's amazing, man. This was great. Thank you for sharing Thanks your for coming uh, up. place. I appreciate it. This was so worth it. Guys, let me know what you thought of today's video. It's huge. Uh, what was your favorite animal that you saw? And uh, you know what? You can always go to the Daytona Reptile Show. If you ever want to say hello to John, tell him you saw him right here on the channel. Thanks for being a part of my channel, and I'll see you guys soon. We got Laura Wright. Gotta go. Later.